Hey everybody, I'm back and we're gonna do a different type of movie tonight. Instead of me playing guitar or through one of my amps, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite toys. This is my Stark Mutual Conductance Tube Tester. Yeah, this must be 50 years old, give or take. If anybody knows more about these things out there and wants to drop me a line or share some information, um, I'd be happy to hear from you. And this, I guess they used to have these in all the hardware stores back in the day, and you could bring in your tubes from your TV set or what have you and get them tested. And I use it to uh, track changes in my tubes and to try and get a sense of uh, when the uh, my tubes are starting to degrade and when they're nearing the end of their life because it's uh, not a proven science as to when a tube is um, ready to be replaced or not. You tend to have to uh, use your ears and uh, unless the tube catastrophically fails and hopefully um, that's one of the things I like to avoid by tracking the uh, the tube um, mutual conductance. So, um, well let's talk more about this this uh, tester. Um, what you need to do is look up your tube data and I have some of the original manuals. Um, but also if you don't have the manuals, what's cool about this thing is that, uh, let me zoom in a little, um, it has this pretty cool scroll here and, and it has almost every major tube and then some that you can uh, look up whatever all the different criteria you need to set the switches to so you can test your tubes. Some of these switches are um, get two switches for filament, a switch for grid, plate, screen, cathode, suppressor, filament voltage, the voltage of your uh, line in from the wall, bias in English. And what I'm testing today is a 12AT7 preamp tube. Now, according to the criteria on the uh, scroll in the meter, the mutual conductance uh, range for the 1287 is uh, 2520 to 4000. So, whatever that means, we'll talk more about that later. Uh, but let's go ahead and measure this tube. And let me bring in the camera and give you a better look at what's going on. I should mention that I have a brand new camera and I'm supposedly filming in 720 high def so hopefully this uh, looks a lot better than some of my previous movies. So you can see the the settings uh, are either a letter uh, or a number for, for all of these uh, switches and you just follow the uh, criteria from the guide and there's a filament voltage of 12.6 bias 10, English 86, so on. The abbreviation for mutual conductance is G sub M. So once we have all the switches uh, set to the right settings and the tube's warmed up, which it is because it's been uh, on for a few minutes, you press down on G sub M and you take your reading. Now, the funny thing about these old meters is they have this, uh, as you can see, red area means replace and green means good. But you have to be careful not to let yourself be uh, uh, convinced of uh, throwing away your tubes because um, that's not really applicable for measuring mutual conductance. So let's measure the mutual conductance is uh, approximately 2500 micromoles. And micromoles are the old units of mutual conductance, or the English units, I guess you could say. The uh, the modern or the the metric SI units for transconductance are Siemens or uh, ampere volts. And uh, but we're working in uh, micromoles, so. 
Now what I do with this information is, is I'm less concerned about the the peak transconductance because I don't know what the if there's some magic number transconductance is 2500 micromoles or more and you get a great tube and or less and you don't or I, I don't know anything about that and you know there's no way to tell whether a tube is good or bad in an exact scientific sense so what I do is I measure a new tube and then write the value down on the tube with a permanent pe uh, black pen and then six months later or after some period of heavy usage I can come back and measure the tri the mutual conductance again and see if there's some degradation in the mutual conductance and that can give me uh, some indication uh, of uh, life left in the tube you know if I play a tube play my amp for a year or so and the mutual conductance uh, drops off by more than half or what's more typical is I'll start to notice that the uh, vibrato or the reverb on like my 66 Vibrolux um, starts to lose some of its uh, lushness. Um, and then I'll know to check the tubes and I'll usually see a degradation. So here we're going to pull out some theory. I know this is kind of tacky in this uh, modern age of technology to, uh, to put a printout in front of the camera, but I don't care. Mutual conductance, uh, G sub M, is a ratio of the change in anode current uh, to the change in grid voltage. It's also the amplification factor divided by the anode resistance. And when you're measuring the same tube, but just how it changes over time, the anode resistance stays roughly the same. So one can, can uh, make the correlation that the mutual conductance is directly related to the ampli amplification factor of the tube. So as the mutual conductance goes down, I believe so does the effectiveness of the tube and the job it was intended to do. So, um, so there you have it. That's what I use my uh, conduct my tester, mutual conductance tester for. And, uh, I'm fairly new to all this, so if there's people out there that have uh, more to offer on this topic, uh, hey, get in touch with me. I'd be glad to hear from you. See you later.